There are many different sights to see and enjoy in New York City. One is Washington Square Park in the heart of Greenwich Village. Every weekend, performers do comedy, juggling, and tumbling routines. These street performers provide their entertainment all afternoon, free of charge, although donations are accepted. William Lee performs here every weekend, along with other performers. Let's go to the Center Fountain and watch William. I'd like to start the show, but first, I need a volunteer. <laughs> and I think we found him. The generic white guy. Give him a round of applause. Here we go. Juggling five balls. <laughs> you kids, explain that to your parents. Break dancing. I used to do shows in Times Square, believe it or not. I used to do about five minutes in Broadway intermissions. They'd come out for intermissions. I'd do a really fast show. The lights would blink. I'd collect money, and that was it. Now I do about 45 minutes in, in here, and I've worked other places like Atlantic City and, and different colleges. There are different shows. For you, juggling in the East Village. Because we're in New York, you get a wide mix. You get people that are really rich to really poor. You get all the races, everything. And during the weekends, there's more tourism, obviously. And they come out, and they you do a little bit more cleaner show, a more wholesome show for them than on weekdays when just park people are here and you do what you want. <laughs> different than New York. In my show out here, I do a whip act, and in LA, I was doing the whip on the beach, and they were, wow, man, he's way too aggressive. He must eat red meat, you know? They're just, they're just different. They're more laid back. They're, they go everywhere by car, so it's less intense than New York. What's bonding without discipline? Don't move. Put your hands flat. Don't move anything in the air. Follow my directions, and you won't get hurt. <laughs> You look for someone who's fun. You look for someone who's going to be interesting for the show. Somebody with a little unique flair to them. Usually it's somebody who's not looking directly at you, but they're smiling. Like, don't pick me, but they want you to pick them, you know? It's kind of like that. I have a lot of fun with the volunteers. That's probably my most fun because it's a time when it's looser and they improv and I can work off them and it's a lot more fun. performed in LA and I performed in 
France and Paris and the, the Alps and I'm just starting to travel. This year I want to travel more. You get a good show and then you travel with it once you have it down. I'd like to start working comedy clubs and doing college shows. That's, that's more interesting. After a while, um, you get used to something, you need a new challenge. So I'm thinking about colleges now. I'd, li I'd like to start doing more comedy and I'd like to put in mine, like martial arts moves, because, you know, I'm Oriental, so. And I'd like to break boards, but you have to take things slowly, because, you know, break boards and I break my hand and then I'm not. You have to build up to it. Maybe in a year or two, I'll have that done. I like New York. <laughs> I love New York. <laughs> Such a long time.